What is going on everybody? Thank you for joining me. Welcome to another Xenoblade Chronicles 2 video. Now, I really really quickly, I want to say everybody thank you so much for the support that you've been showing me in the past videos that I've uploaded. I really do appreciate it and it really does make me happy to see that it's being so well received and that people are actually, you know, interested in watching it. Uh, honestly, it, it really does make me happy and I do this to, you know, help out people and interact and I love everybody, love how everybody was commenting, sharing, you know, tips and tricks to optimize. I think it was on the core crystal farm that they were sharing how to optimize it even better, which is totally fine by me. You know, if you can do it better, go ahead and share in that information. But I just appreciate the support that I've been uh, receiving. And I really, you know, again, I keep saying it, but I really do appreciate it. It really does make me happy. So with that out of the way. Uh, if you do find this video helpful or if you do enjoy it, consider leaving a like or possibly subscribing me out in the long run and I really do appreciate it because I really do. But in this video, I am going to show you guys how you can level up your trust a lot faster than normal means, faster than fighting monsters and faster than fight, faster than doing mercenary missions. Now, mercenary missions can give you quite a a lot but it's just it takes so long for the mission to actually be completed you know okay so the only thing that you are going to need is money why money because each character if we go in the pouch you see each rare or each blade whether they're rare or normal have a certain thing that they like whether it's Cosmetic uh, up here in the top left, either board games, cosmetic, textiles, literature, art, instruments, all that stuff. It doesn't matter which one it is. Well, actually, yes, it does. But each rare, each blade has its own particular thing that they like. And if you give them whatever they like, then it'll level up their trust. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what her level is right now. Okay, so we're at 1665. We'll go ahead and give her a a rare book because she likes to read or not rare book. I mean a rare uh, textile. Well, we'll give her this one. So we were at 1665. We'll see how high this gives this raises it. Did you think I'd like this? <laughs> well, you're wrong. Okay, so from 1665 all the way up to 1683. So that's a total increase of, I believe, uh, 17, right? 1665. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that. Right? 5. And then 7, 13. Oh, no, that's, that's 18. Holy crap, that's a lot. But yeah, the rarer the item, the more it's going to increase. Now, I know 18 doesn't sound like a lot, but have you ever noticed that whenever you defeat a monster, you get like that, that little, there's a purple number that shows up, right? Now, that number can be like one, two, three at the most. And you know how long it takes to fight? I mean, if you're playing this game, you realize, you do know how long the, each, each of the fights take. So... And the, the good thing about this is that you can just keep pumping and pumping and pumping so long as you have materials to put in. Did you think I'd like this? <laughs> well, you're wrong. Okay, so look, we went up nine in a matter of seconds. Did you think I'd like this? <laughs> well, you're wrong. Look at that. I mean, come on, guys. This is this is as easy as it gets. Like, sure, it may take you a while to level them up doing this, but this is a lot faster than going out and fighting monsters, taking maybe two to three, five minutes defeating them depending on how hard they are and it's a lot faster than, than doing mercenary missions so if you compare okay so let's say 
a high level mercenary mission is like two hours. If you do this for two hours straight, I guarantee you, you will at least level it up to the next trust level. So this, guys, is by far the best way to level up the trust in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, in th th that's my opinion. But I honestly think it really is the best because so long as you can buy the items, then you you're pretty much not going to run out of trust you know and the rarer the items the better you already saw how to make the money so just go ahead and go make some money and then come back and buy the materials that your blade likes now i can't tell you which ones which i can't tell you which materials each blade likes that's for you to figure it out but they do give you some hints for instance she gives you she says use looms to weave gorgeous fabrics so that got me thinking okay well what is there a fabric in this kind of thing and you know it, it does look like fabric you know it looks like a piece of cloth the textiles so that's how i was able to figure out that she likes textiles and you know these are the items that she would uh take interest in which raises her trust so yeah guys that's pretty much it's you know pretty simple as long as you have money you can level up your trust as fast as you want to do it and as expensive as you can buy the items now some of the just because it's rare doesn't mean that it'll raise it the same level. I believe certain rare, uh, I, obviously legendary ones are going to raise it by a lot, but uh, certain rare ones will raise it more than other rare ones. You just got to figure out which one works best. Now, if they if the item appears on the left side, says liked type with one heart, that means that you know they like it, but it's not their most favorite one. If you can figure out which one is on the right, then it'll definitely raise their trust by a lot <clears throat> by a lot i haven't found it out for this one but i assure you that if you manage to find that one piece that they like a lot it'll raise their trust level a lot so yeah uh there wasn't really much to this uh you know guide it's pretty cut and simple pretty easy to do so long as you have money you can do it so yeah i'll stop rambling on uh yeah that'll, that'll be it for this video again i want to say uh thank you everybody for supporting my video so much it really does mean a lot but as always thanks for watching and i catch you guys next time